review of the current PLI schemes underway. Let's shift focus to another exclusive today and uh, we are given to understand that Deepak Bagla, the managing director and CEO of Invest India, has stepped down, sources tell Money Control, that its res resignation comes after the Ministry of Commerce had raised some questions about the work done by the organization. Shweta is here with more details. Shweta. We've learned that Mr. Deepak Bagla met with uh, all the members of Invest India today, the entire team of Invest India, where he said that he will be stepping down as MD and CEO of Invest India and a new MD will be taking charge in the next two to three weeks. Now we've been speaking to a whole host of people who are in Invest India, who have worked with Invest India in the past and even in the Commerce Ministry. So from what we have learned through these conversations is that this was something that was a long time coming. Uh, there was an audit that was carried out by the Ministry of Commerce, which re revealed that uh, the kind of investments that had gone into Invest India did not match up with the output that was expected of Invest India. There was also a sense that Invest India was overstating its contribution in bringing in FDI into the country by taking credit for an increase, a surge in foreign direct investments into India. Specific questions were raised on Mr. Bagla's role in bringing those investments in and from what we have learned, those answers were not satisfactory enough. Also, there are uh, charges of uh, nepotism that uh, a lot of people with uh, a lot of connections were being hired in Invest India. Competence was not being given as much prominence as connections were being given a lot of importance while making these hiring decisions. There was a lot of emphasis on pushing out the work that Invest India was doing in terms of generating publicity around the work that Invest India was doing. So in terms, there were, there were diktats and um, uh, recommendations given to employees on the number of tweets they should be putting out. A roster was uh, maintained in uh, which would track the kind of tweets that were going out. This is what we have learned, of course, from our sources within um, Invest India. So uh, clearly, there was a lot of uh, a lot of emphasis on um, uh, publicity and making Invest India look good. Something that did not go down well with the Commerce Ministry. Shweta, many thanks for joining us. We will head into a break, but up next, the.